What in the world do we have here? This is an old Shelby bicycle. Shelby bicycle with a Sears motor. Correct. Okay. It hadn't been used for 40 years. So tell me, where'd you get it? Found this at a flea market. You found it in a flea market? What state? Ohio. Ohio? I can tell by the rust. <laughs> <laughs> I brought in an early 1900s Shelby bicycle. I think this bicycle is in real good shape. The motor runs. It'll be something different that people just don't see anymore. I can live with 2,500. I'll probably take the money and reinvest it in more antiques. It's definitely cool. Yeah, Shelby uh, is a pretty interesting company. They were doing $3 million a year in sales in the 1920s. I mean, you can imagine it's a lot of money. <laughs> but they were mainly just making bicycle frames. They sold them to Schwinn, they sold them to Sears, they sold them to everybody. Yes. Does it run? Yes, it does. It does? OK. It's obviously got the Sears motor kit on it, right? Yeah, I mean, the Sears motor kit, I mean, every kid, as soon as he got a bicycle, wanted to turn it into a motorcycle somehow. I used to put playing cards in the spokes of my bicycle when I was a kid, so it sounded like a motorcycle. Yeah. <laughs> in the early 1900s, the Shelby Cycle Company was one of America's most respected bicycle builders. This could be a really good buy for this shop, but it all depends on how much it costs to restore. So what are you looking to do with it, my man? I want to sell it. You want to sell it? What are you trying to get out of it? $2,500. $2,500. Yeah, it sounds like a lot of money, my man, but, uh... We've got some condition issues for sure, man. The rust, the motor doesn't look that well. The, I mean, it needs to be re-chromed. There's a lot of work that needs to be done here. Um, I'll tell you what, do you mind if I have a buddy come down and tell me what it's gonna cost to restore this thing? Sure. Why don't you hang out and I'll be right back. If you're gonna restore it, there's a few things that has to be done. He would probably find some faults on it, but overall, the bicycle's in good shape and the, and the motor, it runs good. So this is what I called you about. It's a uh, Shelby bike. It's got one of the Sears motors on it. We're looking to get a paper out. <laughs> Shelby was a great bicycle because it had a lot of styling. If you look at it, the fenders are bobbed, nice head badges. Just overall, it's just a cool bicycle. So what are we looking at to restore this thing? Well, to restore it, you're talking a lot of work. Most of it's in chrome plating. The rims have to be chrome plated, the handlebars. These grips are off a 70s bicycle or something. This back here, you can see somebody drilled all kinds of holes in it. I'm gonna have to weld them up. It's not only a Sears motor, it's a Tecumseh motor. Back in my mini bike days, those motors rocked. If it turns over, yeah, these things never die. Never die, they're cool. But to restore it because of all the chrome work, probably talking about 1700 If you get the right collector, I think you get four grand for it. OK. Well, Bob, I appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. I think this would be a great buy for the shop because it's rare. If he gets it at the right price, there are serious collectors out there that will pay good money for it. You know I can't pay you 2500 for it, right? Problem. I'm not in the business of breaking even. What's the least you'll take? How about two grand? Two grand ain't gonna happen, buddy. I'll walk away and not shake your hand for two grand. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm in the $500 range. That's way too low. He was talking about a $4,000 bike. $4,000 bike, yeah, after I pay him $1,700 to restore it. That's a lot of work, man. Would you do six? 600? You brought it all the way down here. It is pretty cool. I'll do 600 bucks. Thank you. All right, uh, come with me. Let's do some paperwork. I didn't get as much money as I wanted, but I'm riding out here $600 richer. 